What's up guys, it's Polar here, and uh, today I've got some FIFA Pro Club Seasons for you. Uh, me, my friend the Gommelstick, and my friend Assassinated are, uh, are uh, starting up our new pro club. Uh, we never really tried out this mode earlier in the life cycle of FIFA, so uh, we're giving it a shot now. As you can see, we're using a 4-3-3 false 9, in which uh, we are the front three players. I'm the center forward, Gommel is the right forward, and Assassinated is the left forward. Um, now, it's actually kind of funny, because the friend who wasn't initially answering my messages was assassinated. And uh, that's not his fault, he just didn't see them. And uh, so we got that all worked out, we've got FIFA going, and uh, as you can see my team name's Albany Phoenix, uh, we're using the Aldershot Town Rising Phoenix kits and badge, because I thought it fit. Um, and my player is not number 99. Uh, is actually number nine because your player changes numbers, I believe, due to uh, the position they're in. Um, this was supposed to be a triple comp, but I still haven't figured out how to record Skype. I need to work on that. Like, it's got to happen soon because some of the commentary we had in this game was really hilarious. Um, but I actually like the gameplay in this game mode a lot better than, or not to say a lot better than Ultimate Team, but it's a lot more challenging because uh, you have to think a lot more tactically about what you're doing. Um, and as you see, I'm a center forward running all the way back to play defense because I didn't trust our computer teammates because they are AI teammates. Um, also, I got an inbox message saying, um, or tell, talking to me about the clicking noise that my microphone makes. You hear right there? Yeah, that's uh, that's the noise that my headset makes when my jaw moves and the earpiece moves with it. Because if you haven't ever seen a Sony Bluetooth headset, the thing's freaking massive. And there you see my AI teammate running into me. Um, so I don't know what that was all about. But then they get a break, and this is the luckiest moment in the game. He goes off the post, and then goal, but he's offside. Thank the freaking lord. Uh, but yeah, that's the noise that my jaw makes when it moves and the headset moves with it. Um, but that should be fixed once my snowball comes in, whenever that may be. Uh, hopefully very soon. So uh, we are, we're waiting on that, and that will make the audio quality of the videos better. Oh my god, my voice just cracked right there. That will make the audio quality of the videos better. <laughs> and... Um, It'll stop that annoying clicking, squeaking, whatever noise you want to call it. Um, but back to the gameplay. FIFA Pro Clubs is really fun because you get to run, make runs in space, use your opponents as almost like picks with the AI players, and then make moves with your teammates and make it work. And you see the gobble stick. We try and send him through there, but uh, it doesn't work because we just started. Our players are all 76 rated forwards that are not the best at passing or sprinting or anything of that nature, um, let alone defending, which we try and do at cases and it just goes poorly. Uh, but this game is, it is really fun. I'm glad to have FIFA back. I really enjoy playing FIFA 13. Um, a lot of people say FIFA 13 was not as good, and there's a little back heel that shouldn't have worked but did. Uh, a lot of people say FIFA 13 was not as good is FIFA 12 or FIFA 11, um, but I really, really liked FIFA 13. It is, <clears throat> without a doubt, one of the best FIFA games I've ever played, and I've had FIFA 09 through FIFA 13, and I think I had FIFA 07 at one point, too. Um, but it was, it is a really fun game. I really do enjoy it. It's, uh, it's, it's well-balanced, I think. Ultimate Team people rage at because there's so much pace involved. But if you play tactically and you play smart, you can, not to say outdo pace, because pace is always going to be something where my player's faster than yours, and that's that. Um, and then we try and swing this header in, but our AI player just boots it right back the other way. I don't understand that. And uh, it's, without pace, your teams won't be lacking, but they will be um, 
less than what they could be. The other thing that um, Ultimate Team will tell you is that if you run fast, you play over the top through balls, you'll always win because you're a sweaty player. Sometimes over the top through balls aren't sweaty play. Sometimes being fast isn't sweaty play. You know, in real life, you're going to cut the ball back every single time if you have an opportunity. And that'll give you chances on goal. It'll give you a lot more than you would have had otherwise. In a game, however, the fact that cutting it back is looked down on is horrible because what they're doing when they cut the ball back is exploiting the goalkeeper and the opponent's mistake. And that shouldn't be looked down on, that should be praised. And look at that beautiful through ball that was assassinated from me. And then it pops into the middle and none of us can pick it up. But the the mistakes shouldn't that are exploited should not be overlooked. And that's the same thing with an over the top through ball. The way that works is it exploits the offside trap. If you beat the offside trap with an over the top through ball, you've got a striker running full speed towards the ball and slower defenders that aren't going to be able to catch up. And it's just not something that in real life would ever be looked down upon. But in this game, it's just so frowned upon for whatever reason, I don't understand. And right here is my first goal of FIFA Pro Club season. That was a rocket of a shot, a cracking goal from outside the 18. A right-footed half volley almost, the ball was in the air. But that was that was a beautiful goal. Um, it was really unexpected too. I was just trying to take the shot and put the ball in net, hoping it would go out for a corner or something of that nature. But it flew into the top right corner, and I couldn't have been happier. See, this is that's part of the reason I need the the Skype recording because right there we all freaked out. And we, we were genuinely enjoying our ourselves playing this. Um, it was like three in the morning, and we were still still having a great time, you know, even though we were all tired and out of our minds and stuff. And that's another great through ball that can't get through uh, with the cross. But we we are learning. We're starting to play better. Uh, the three of us hopefully will gain more synergy. This is the first time we've all ever played on the same team because uh, we didn't really know that was possible. Because uh, we met, me, Assassin, and Gun, we met on Call of Duty. Uh, we play Black Ops 2 together quite a bit. <coughs> And then Assassinated one day said, I've been playing a bunch of FIFA 13. And I was like, really? I love FIFA games. He's like, you want to you wanna gift it to you? Like, sure. Let's play. It'll be fun. And then I got really into FIFA. And then Gommel hopped on the bandwagon. But since we're on opposite ends of the country, it makes it a lot more difficult for us to play all at the same time especially on FIFA, which is generally looked at as a two-player game, it, it makes it hard. And that was not the best through ball I could have played, but it worked. Uh, and there's the lofted through ball, and then the cross in, which is just short. And then the shot from our AI computer teammate. Test the keeper, but that was good. And since we're across the country from each other, we like to play as much as we can, but it's really hard. Uh, so we get along really well. We play. Uh, there's not much fighting over the ball. We we play usually the smart move. Um, we might all mash X a little bit when the uh, when the computer teammates have the ball, because we just don't want it at their feet, because it scares us. Um, but there you can see we're at halftime, and the only goal being my rocket of a shot. Uh, we've got four shots, two on goal, and 57% of the possession. And the only event is my goal. Um, also, another thing I wanted to mention about FIFA Pro Clubs is that what is it with the short players that have the blue afro or the gray afro or whatever it is? I don't understand it. Like, is that something that's a thing? Like, is that, you know, all strikers have to be five foot nothing and have a blue afro? I mean, I understand making the player short because uh, it gives you more pace, but it also gives you less strength and worse balance. Or er, not better, not worse balance, uh, worse heading, which is something a striker or a target man really needs. Um, and there you can see our AI defense doing work at the back there. I don't know how the AI defense works 
if it's just on a higher difficulty in pro club seasons but it always seemed to do what we wanted it to do and here right there uh, we were all talking over what we wanted to do with the ball and we decided that we wanted to pass it play it around the back and then the stupid computer teammate just puts a ball to nowhere luckily I get it back and give it to Gommel who makes a great move to the outside pulls it back and uh, it, dribbling with the ball is not an issue it's um, it's trying to work out passes between the three of us that don't necessarily involve the AI teammates aside from one twos because we don't like them to have that much and there he should have pulled a finesse shot to the far post and that would have gone in that's like a goal every time uh, as far as the formation we were running the 4-3-3 false nine is something I really like especially because uh, having two wingers and a center forward uh, I'm free to move back a little bit and control the play of the game versus staying up as a striker and being far away from what I want to do and I should have played a through ball there instead of just passing it right to him uh, I just played it a little harder so he could get through it but uh, it's something we'll learn it's something that'll come as part of playing more pro club seasons and of course with the 4-3-3 false nine uh, you need you've got four at the back three midfielders and the other formation that we thought of or was the 5-2-1-2 because that would allow two strikers up front uh, and a center attacking mid or a cam and two CDNs which would also give us five at the back which is a lot harder to get by but the defense seemed okay there were never issues with having uh, not enough players back only only ever when they ran all three of their forwards up at the same time was he ever even because our center backs like to stay back on the ball but it's it's a fun time pro clubs especially when you're you know playing late at night enjoying yourselves and having a great time with buddies it you can really make it a good time you know playing FIFA, whereas a lot of time in Ultimate Team it's all rage, it's all getting mad at everyone, because Ultimate Team is just so win at all costs, and we lost, you know, we didn't really care, we didn't, you know, we, we just wanted to play to have fun, we didn't really worry about win-lose tie, we were just enjoying ourselves, and that's something that doesn't happen in FIFA very often. We're in most sports games online now. You know, most people are playing win, I must win, I can't lose. If I lose, I'm a noob, yada, yada, yada. You know, like that's one thing I actually kind of revere Call of Duty for is it's become one of those games where you can just play it and dick around and no one really cares. And right there, the skill moves, that's one thing that annoyed me. You all start with one-star skill moves. I can't live without my Ronaldo chop. I mean, it's a thing. You need it. Um, and it just makes it so much harder to play as a striker or a winger if you don't have skill moves to beat the defenders. Uh, but you'll see in a bit earlier... Was it this game or was it another one? Uh, but on the wing, on the left wing for their team, they start doing skill moves and the AI defenders just having absolutely nothing to do with it. They're just standing there waiting. It's like, you can move at any time. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about is the uh, NCAA Ultimate Team Series. I should have a new video out tomorrow that's going to be a game with the team. Uh, it might have a pack opening depending on how much my stuff sells. Um, so that might be a double upload. You might get to see a pack opening and a game. Um, but some people asked why the team changed so drastically so quickly. And the answer is it didn't. But my capture card didn't record the games with the shitty team properly so I did have one game with Mark Sanchez as my QB so I could compare him at the very end of the series to Heisman winner Tim Tebow but it uh, it didn't go well and it uh, won't be making it to YouTube sadly um, but the team we have I think will be good not it's, it's not a starter team by any means, but it's not an expensive team either. Um, especially because I pulled a lot of the players out of the packs. Like, I didn't buy Darren McFadden. I didn't buy 
the uh, the legend Adrian Peterson. I didn't buy Case Keenum. Um, also, some people were asking who my backup quarterback was because a lot of people use uh, secondary quarterbacks for options and such. And uh, my backup quarterback is Colin Kaepernick, and I use him for the read option because running the read option is the best. It is like the shit. It's it's awesome. If you play NCAA and you don't run the read option online, you should start because it's guaranteed five yards most of the time and then you can set it up with play action and it makes it really frustrating for the opponent's defense especially if you know what they like to run I've tried the triple option because that is actually Colin Kaepernick's specialty is the triple option because I mean because especially now that I have David Wilson I can run Kaepernick, Wilson, McFadden triple options and those would be cool but I don't know if I have the skill to be able to pull off the triple option correctly but here you can see the game ends uh, we win 1-0 with my cracking goal in the 34th minute um, my match rating is 7.5 uh, my pass success was 81% and I had 32 passes um, so all in all I think it was a great game it was a fun time and you should you guys should look for more FIFA Pro Club seasons in the future have a good day guys Bye.